Bringing a new vehicle to market is not an inexpensive proposition, which is probably why Toyota partnered up with Mazda to bring this all-new 2016 Scion IA to the market. When the Yaris essentially went to a, exclusively a three-door or five-door hatchback, they lost this entry-level sedan, which is very important, vehicles like the Ford Fiesta. In fact, that segment is made up of 75% all-new buyers, and that's what Scion needs right now. When you look at the exterior of the Scion IA, very little was changed or influenced by Scion. In fact, the only thing that's different is this grille and that Scion badge right there. Under the hood of the all-new Scion IA is a 1.5-liter Mazda four-cylinder engine that produces 106 horsepower and 103 pound-feet of torque. Of course, it's a front-wheel drive vehicle, but what's exciting is that you have the Mazda Skyactiv transmission, even though you don't see that branded on here. That's a six-speed automatic or a six-speed manual. Both are brilliant. The Scion IA is a pleasant surprise and a reminder that you could still get fun and driving dynamics in a subcompact sedan without breaking the bank. Scion buyers are going to benefit tremendously from the joint venture created by Toyota with Mazda. Considering the competition, which includes the Kia Rio, Hyundai Accent, Ford Fiesta, and the much maligned Nissan Versa, this rebadged Mazda 2 is the clear choice favorite for enthusiasts. At 106 horsepower, you won't win too many drag races, but you will outpace the Versa primarily because the Skyactiv six-speed automatic is as fast as a twin clutch without the shift point delays that can play cars like the Fiesta and its dry sump twin clutch. Mazda just gets it. They understand that just because your budget is around $16,000 doesn't mean your driving experience has to be compromised. After driving the IM all morning with its squishy suspension that nearly had both my co-driver and I revisiting our breakfast, this IA was a welcome antidote with its balanced handling and steering. Even the seats in the IA were good and the gauges were logical. The seldom used tachometer was minimized and placed in the corner where it belongs on econo boxes such as these. And the entire time I was driving this gem, all I could ponder is why can't Toyota build a car like this? Once upon a time, they made fun, economical cars like my first car in 1982 Celica. Well, they did give us the Scion FRS even though it was through a joint venture with Subaru. I can only hope Scion's next partnership is with Porsche or BMW. Very little has changed on the interior of this Scion IA from the Mazda 2. They did make some changes to the colors to kind of make it more uniform with other Scion products. You have the pop-up static navigation screen uh, that you find in most Mazda products. You have the controller, but what's really interesting is where the cruise control uh, is. Here it's on the steering wheel. Every Toyota, Lexus, and Scion product made in the last 25 years, there's a big stock on the side. So this is really the only vehicle in all three of those brands that has this cruise control on the steering wheel. Starting price for the Scion IA is $15,700 for the six-speed manual and $16,800 for the six-speed automatic. Very competitive when you compare it to the segment. What I love about this vehicle is that it's very tight. It drives great. It drives like a Mazda. I would never go as far as to say that Mazda makes a better car than Toyota, but I would say that they make cars that appeal to enthusiasts like me a lot more. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron Doran for The Driver's Seat.